Welcome to the Lightning Protection Design course. Selection Design and Lightning Protection Risk Assessment. So the contents that we will be covering as part of this Lightning Protection Design course are International Codes and Standards Stages in Lightning Design Different parts for lightning protection design, risk assessment, type of sources, damages and losses, values of tolerable risks as per IEC 62305, lightning protection design, air termination system, down conductor system, Earth termination system, dimensions of earthing electrodes, and lightning protection design for explosive atmospheres. So, the international codes and standards that are applicable for lightning protection are IEC 62305 Part 1, which is Protection Against Lightning General Principles. IEC 62305 Part 2 provides the risk management or risk assessment guidelines. IEC 62305 Part 3 is protection against lightning, physical damage to structure and life hazard. Protect IEC 62305 Part 4 is Protection against electrical and electronic systems within the structures. IEC 62561 Part 1 Lightning Protection System Components Requirements for Connection Components NFPS 780 is the standard for lightning protection systems for explosive atmosphere. OISD 180 is also lightning protection for explosive atmospheres in the petroleum industry applications. So the stages in lightning design. So firstly 62305 part 1 discusses about the lightning threat details. Then we do a lightning risk assessment as per the IC 62305 part 2 lightning assessment risk guidelines. Then lightning protection has to be provided if the calculated risk overshoots the tolerable risk mentioned in IC 62305 part 2. However, a bare minimum lightning protection design should be provided ideally even if the calculated risk is less than the tolerable risk. Then the protection measures for LPS lightning protection systems are governed by IC 62305 part 3 and for electrical and electronic surge protection the design and approach guidelines are as per IC 62305 part number 4 respectively. So different parts of standards for lightning protection. <coughs> part 1 General Principles Introduction to Basic Standard and provides guidelines on how to design a lightning protection system LPS in accordance with other associated standards. Part 2 Risk management approach does not concentrate purely on the physical damage to structure caused by lightning discharge but more on the risk of human life, loss of service to the public, loss of cultural heritage and economic loss. Part 3 Physical damage to structure and life hazards 
describes the design of the lightning protection system with respect to the structure and installation for external lightning protection. Part 4 Protection of electrical and electronic systems which is housed within the structure lightning protection zones LPZs are defined and also provides information on design, installation, maintenance and testing of a lightning electromagnetic impulse that is surge protection.